information to include in mail you send to your prospects. You might not be exploiting your potential if you're not sending your prospects something in the mail. This is especially true if you're selling big ticket items. Think about this. Everyone and anyone can send an email, but how many sellers reach out to their prospects via real mail and give them something tangible, something they can hold in their hands? Better yet, you cannot delete real mail with the click of a button, and if you make it enticing enough, the real mail will be read and acted upon. So what information should you send to your prospect? According to Dave D., here's a packet of information that you should send. Number one, a checklist. For example, for people selling a service, you can send a checklist titled, Seven Factors to Consider When Hiring a Blank. This way, you will be setting the buying mood, and at the same time, enlightening your prospect about what to look for. Now here's something I want you to master. In the seven factors, there should be at least one factor exclusive to your company or business. Only you can do it. Maybe you'll provide a service no one else in your area can do or do in a unique way that no other person does. Or perhaps you offer a guarantee that is unparalleled. Or even your free bonus service is something other people charge for. You can also have a proven track record or a greater qualification than anyone else has. Whatever you list, it has to be something that you exclusively have. This will eliminate the chances of you being compared to others because no one else will measure up to you on that front. Number two, include your newsletter. It should be customer-oriented and not exceed two pages. Your newsletter should include bullet point tips coming from your book or website. You don't need to write new ones. One article that could come from your book or website. One cartoon. You can get someone from Fiverr to create it for you. One big mistake a majority of people make and how you can correct it. And finally, your picture. Number three, a micro sales letter. This letter should walk them through your sales process. It involves making a phone call, making a small order, sending an email, visiting a website, etc. The aim is to move them along the sales process. If they fail to respond to this comprehensive package, Dave D. advocates that you follow up with three sequential mailings. First, he sends a cookie and a letter inside that box. The box is meant to protect the cookie so it doesn't break. His letter begins, As you can see, I have sent you a cookie. Why did I choose a cookie? I wanted to grab your attention. As you can see, this is an Epicurean cookie. It is quite unique and different, just like not all your service, product, or profession goes here, are created equal. He goes ahead to echo his offer. Who doesn't love cookies? Is anyone going to throw it in the trash without at least reading the note? It is highly unlikely. Will this make them remember you in the coming days? You better believe it. Next, he sends a fortune-telling fish. This is a little plastic fish that moves when held in the hand. You can find these fish on novelty sites. The movement of the fish tells you something. The chart accompanying the fish says that if the fish moves up, the prospect will call you. If it moves left, the prospect is going to hire you today. And if it moves right, the prospect will buy your product and another explanation. No matter the direction the fish moves, it will trigger a call to action that favors you. In a third mailing, Dave sends an aspirin with another letter. The first sentence of the letter reads, Do you still experience this problem? We can make your headache disappear. If after this, Dave doesn't get a response or a sale he was hoping for, he follows up with monthly newsletters for a whole year. That sounds like a whole lot to put together. However, once you set it up, you will never have to deal with it again. The sales letter is the same as long as you are selling the same service or product and the newsletter can have timeless information so you don't keep on changing it. You don't need to do all of this process. The point was, you can be noticed if you get creative in your marketing. Creativity will get you business.